Anybody else? Paul? Paul Richmond, resident of Port Townsend, uh, 2023 East Sims Line, number 263. I'm again here talking about the Border Patrol and Homeland Security and again urging this council to take a stand on it in contact with the federal government and our state government. Um, one thing that recently, you know, I think everyone's been talking about the budget, of course, and I, I saw a episode of Upfront on King 5 yesterday where they talked about just these record deficits. To be talking about putting this much money into a project some of the projects that they're putting in here, in light of these sort of deficits, really, it seems to me, regardless of the mission, we need to be looking at this just simply from the perspective of reprioritizing the budget. Groups like, uh, oh my God, the FBI is talking about too much money going to the war on terrorism. That's uh, the October 31st uh, PI, if you want to look it up. And um, the, you, of course, have the memo from the uh, US Attorney Sullivan, the other one who um, said, you know, we're not here to be looking at low-priority crimes. That we can't be investigating things like money laundering. They can't be doing their job because of how it's been prioritized. Now, there's, of course, issues that you know, are limited in how much we can do in this time, but issues like the impact this is having on our local character and way of life, we're very dependent on tourism. How many people are going to be wanting to come up here if they're going to be going through random checkpoints? and the impact this is going to be having on things like uh, the uh, farms, um, the timber industry, which is very, very dependent on a lot of these workers. Um, again, I'm going to urge you, look at, look at contacting our federal officials. They, can't, they control the power of the purse, and I think we need to look at where that money's going. Thank you.